What is going on automotive fanatics? It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you guys with another DIY. So today we are going to be working on my 911 and um, what we're trying to accomplish is swapping out the spark plugs as well as the coil packs. Now I have done a little recon underneath the car just to kind of take a look at some of the challenges that we are going to run into as well as doing a lot of researching and watching some videos to help me uh, kind of plan a good route to getting this accomplished. So the first thing, let's take a look at um, the coil packs that I have here. I went ahead and just purchased a set of six Baru uh, coil packs. I believe these are going to be OEM ones and here is the part number for you guys. And uh, we are going with Bausch plugs. These are also going to be OEM. And let's take a look here. There you go. That's the part number for these here. Now in the recon process underneath the car I noticed that accessing the plugs aren't going to be the huge deal my hands aren't too big so I should be able to access it and remove a few things to actually get to the plugs however the challenge that I see already is trying to get them out uh, it's a very narrow opening and as you can tell this plug or I'm sorry this coil pack here um, that goes into the cylinder head that's going to be the challenge um, I have read that some people have kind of had to turn this or finagle this in the way and with these being the new ones you could also see that it is the larger um, and taller coil pack so that's going to kind of be the main challenge or obstacle that I run into. So what we'll go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and get underneath the car. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so you can see. Uh, most likely I will work on one side to see what challenges I run into and um, then I'll cover the other side and video it so that you can see exactly what you need to do. So without further ado my friends, let's go ahead and get started on this spark plug coil pack change on a 911 997.1 the 3.8 liter motor and I believe this also applies to a majority of other 911s. So the first thing that I did here is um, you guys will remember there is a little mounting plate that went across the long way here. I went ahead and removed the two bolts. There's one back here and then there's one toward the very back and as you can tell you have access to the most forward facing spark plug so space is still pretty tight this one definitely looks easy to do but just kind of taking a look around here the other one is back here which is the middle and then you've got the the one that's all the way to the rear of the vehicle so now I'm going to attempt to uh, remove the two screws that hold in the first coil pack and that looks like it's going to be a star bit so let's go ahead and remove that so what I have done here is I have a T40 on a little uh, T40 holder that extends to my quarter inch extension as you can see we'll go ahead and essentially just break it right off just like such show you guys here you can reach it relatively easy and that is removing the very first couple bolts off the first coil pack so we were able to undo the clip off of the first spark plug up there. Now my particular car had, it looks like um, if you can see here, it looks as though there is some type of boot cover 
that went over the connection and I think that's probably going to be standard on all your 911 so I went ahead and pushed that back some and then I pushed the clip um, the locking mechanism up a little bit and that releases it from the coil pack here just to give you guys a little better of an idea here is the new coil pack and here is the little clip that um, uh, it engages to the other side so you lift it it undoes from here and then you can pull it out so there's the very first one and I'll go ahead and remove that coil pack now I went ahead and removed the coil pack and it came off relatively easy uh, so that is out I went ahead and put a 5 8 inch spark plug socket on a um, an extension that swivels and then I have another longer extension on that extension which allows me to pivot it out here I just simply put it on torquing device and I was able to snap it off so that you'll see me just simply turn here is the middle spark plug coil pack set up here and as you can tell I've got the T40 in there uh, with the holder and I have a smaller uh, quarter inch ratchet and it fits in there pretty easy with plenty of room so I'll go ahead and remove that one now so here we have the middle spark plug uh, coil pack as well and I went ahead and removed it but I put it back in so I can show you guys how to do it so um, as you can tell the connection actually points up toward the connector so what I did was I turned it so that the connecting um, point is facing down and what that does is it allows me to essentially pull it out a little bit so all you do here is you kind of pull it out it flexes a little bit and you just have to kind of flex it a little bit more and the very tip of it will actually flex some more and then you will you will bend it to this open area here so let's do that again just like that now that the coil pack is now removed and thank goodness I didn't damage this one but uh, as you can tell it gives a little bit here and that should be sufficient space to get that boot or coil pack back in as I did earlier so that is how you remove that and now you do have enough space to get your spark plug wrench in let me see if I can get that in real quick for you guys alright so yep there's just enough room to get that in there and you will most likely need another short extension and your ratchet right here so I will remove that so now I'm going to go ahead and start doing the rear coil pack and spark plugs I have once again my T40 onto a quarter inch ratchet and these I went ahead and broke loose it did not give a fight at all and there's plenty of space for you to get that ratchet in and taking a look at just the spacing here it looks as though this coil pack is going to be able to come out relatively easy so I'll go ahead and remove that for you guys okay guys so here is the rear coil pack right there and I wanted to show you kind of that um, the boot that covers the connection on how you have to remove it to give you a good idea now this one again did not give me much of a fight at all the only challenging part was I could not essentially get enough force on this little clip here so I had to use a little short flat head and um, pry it in there and just push it up and then push back that plug and that is pretty much ready to have the coil pack removed so again did not give me too much of a fight
Okay, so I wanted to share with you kind of a pro tip, guys. Um, to get this out, what you need to do is you need to kind of rotate that that um, connection, and then you're able to essentially pull it out like such. Again, you you do have to kind of angle it a little bit, almost down, and then that coil pack should come right out, guys. There we go. Coil pack is out. So here's a setup that I have for the removal of the plug. Um, again, I have the spark plug wrench in there. I have a four, uh, I'm sorry, a three inch extension onto another extension. And in preparation of this project, I actually bought a swivel head ratchet. And let me tell you guys, it really helps a lot because here, as you can tell, I have the ratchet totally angled and that gave me a, it gave me a fair amount of force to turn because if I had it straight, I don't have any type of reach and torque to be able to snap that um, plug out. So do yourself a favor, get a swivel head ratchet, it definitely helps out. So I will go ahead and finish this, get the plug in, and discuss with you guys some final um, tips on this side here. So guys, we are finished with the left side of the car with the coil packs as well as plugs um, installed. Now, the installation of the coil packs themselves wasn't terribly difficult. Again, kind of like how I showed you how to remove them, what you need to do is you need to somewhat contort the top end of uh, the coil pack that is flexible to get into the um, spark plug area. So again, that did not give me too much of a fight. Uh, what did give me more of a challenge was the fact that because the new coil packs are a little taller, you have a reduction in terms of space to work with. So that presented a little issue. The biggest one though is going to be the middle spark plug, the very top um, bolt that you're going to need to, uh, to tighten down. Now, it took me about 15 minutes of trying and figuring out, you know, I, I just can't get it. I almost gave up. However, let me share with you a little secret. And some of you guys may already know, so hang tight real quick. Okay, so here is the secret. This is the head of the new coil pack bolt that you're going to use. Now, this here is take a look here guys this is an E10 that fits right on that's supposed to be how it is now because of the new thickness of the coil pack this is not going to work for you you can hand tighten it but you beyond that you cannot tighten it any further now here is the trick you want to use an 8 millimeter fits right on and it holds very snug. Do I recommend that you use this to torque it down? Probably not, um, because you don't have a lot of bite to the area here with the eight mil, but it gives you sufficient grip where you can actually tighten it, and that's what I did. So it worked very well. I just, I, I was in shock because it is very nice and snug. Uh, so that one allows you to tighten the middle top coil pack bolt that works with this. Uh, so overall it wasn't a terribly difficult task on the driver's side. It took me about two and a half hours to do and that's with frequent stops of trying to film and get everything all situated. Uh, what I'll go ahead and do now is I'm going to tackle the passenger side and my take is I don't think it's going to be um, any more difficult. Uh, again, the most challenging thing is going to be trying to remove the coil packs uh, at that specific angle. So I'll go ahead and do the other side. If there are any specific changes 
uh, that needs to be required, I will share with you. And oh, before I forget, I do highly recommend that you guys pick up a couple of additional tools. So this is a short stubby right here, and it's flexible. It allows you to get in those angles so you can tighten it. And then this here, again, was my swivel head ratchet. That was a huge help at certain angles as well. So for the time being, I'll jump on the other side and get to it. Now what you're looking at here is going to be the most rear coil pack and plug setup. Uh, as you can tell, it's very tight. I have the camera pretty much all the way, kind of panning way back down here. Here is your exhaust, and you've got your uh, muffler here, and kind of coming up, so you can tell it is extremely tight. You still can actually get the T40 and a quarter ratchet in there, but if you take a look right up there, I managed to take a long flathead screwdriver to push the connection uh, boot cover up, and that should give you some room to actually get another screwdriver or a smaller one in there to pry up and you're then able to actually undo that uh, connection and pull out the spark plug and boot. Here you see the coil pack and kind of like the driver's side, the key to this one here is you actually have to rotate it down some so that you're able to have some room to essentially pull it out. And see, you guys saw it just pop right out. So that's kind of the secret to getting that coil pack out. So guys, here is the final coil pack that I am actually tightening down. Now, the correct socket for that coil pack bolt here, obviously, you can tell it does not fit because of this heat shield here. So I had to go ahead and use that eight millimeter and quarter inch ratchet to get tight here. And you're still able to get a fair amount of torque to tighten it down. All right guys, so we are officially done with the right passenger side of the coil pack and plug uh, exchange. Now I had showed you guys a a couple of the challenges that I ran into for uh, the right side but overall it was actually very easy the front number one and two here I was able to pull the coil pack out um, unbolt all the bolts get the new coil pack in get the new bolts in without any issues at all it's just that third one in the back it's the trouble um, I do highly recommend those tools that I had shared with you, specifically that magical 8mm that is going to help you tighten the new uh, bolt up to and uh, to secure the uh, coil pack. Is it something that I recommend that you guys tackle yourself? 100%. Definitely doable. Uh, the only caveat to that is if you have really big hands, I'll tell you, you guys are going to have a little trouble. Uh, I've got relatively small hands. My hands are size 7 and I'm able to kind of finagle my way inside and out of some of those tight um, bends and contortioned areas. But again, if you have some big uh, hands, you're still able to accomplish it, but you'll probably be busting up some knuckles at that point. I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Stay tuned for more DIYs for this car, other cars that I have access to, uh, and some other specific videos within the automotive industry as well. Again, this is going to be Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off until the next time, my friends. Mm -hmm.